Jenning right now, he has been blaming Israel since the beginning of the war, but now he sees the defeat of Hamas. So now he's changing his tone a little bit, his attitude. And I like his cleverity. He's, he's a very clever Palestinian. He's the perfect example of a Palestinian, by the way. Cenk, just right there. Because Palestinian is not limited to Gaza. Palestinian is a syndrome. It's a mental illness. It's a universal phenomenon. And Cenk is the perfect example. And if he gets hungry eventually, I will not be surprised that he will eat his own children. Okay, or oh, Cenk, <laughs> your response. <laughs> Okay, so you would like me to respond to a guy who just escaped from a mental asylum. Okay, if he calls me a Palestinian... You look, are the one who should I'm go not... to a mental asylum. Okay, if he calls me a Palestinian, I am incredibly proud to bear that name. Thank you for making me an honorary Palestinian. The whole world should be honorary Palestinians for the suffering that they've gone through and the brutal slaughter of the Palestinians at the hands of the Israelis. So I don't want the audience to get confused. Mossad is an Israeli agent. He's a turncoat. He doesn't believe that the Palestinians should exist. And, but it's okay. I don't have to clarify it much because he just told you. He thinks that Palestinians don't exist and that they have no rights. And they are the ones encroaching on the indigenous land of the Israelis. I mean, look, I know if you're an Israeli supporter, some of you have lost your mind so much that you believe that the Muslims there that have been living there for <laughs> for centuries, millennium, are somehow in your way and they should just be dispensed with and that the real true heirs of that land are the people that were brought in from Europe and other places. Look, the Jewish people have suffered greatly throughout history. It's and anyone who denies that is denying reality. But now it breaks my heart to see that they have become what they most despise. They escaped that kind of brutality only to do it to the Palestinians now. So if you notice, Mossad over there never answered the question. There is no standard that the Palestinians can ever meet. They even say absurd things like they don't exist, that this Palestinian state should never exist, Palestinians as an ethnicity should never exist. And then they have the temerity to say, can you believe that they theoretically don't think that Israel should have a right to exist, even though it's existed since 1948. It's one of the biggest militaries in the world, backed by the greatest military power in the history of the world. It has nuclear weapons. Your existence is rock solid you're murdering palestinians but that doesn't but hang on check check wake but Cheng, up let me, let me jump wake in there up uh, check that doesn't so change you didn't the jump fact. in as the yeah, but Cheng, Cheng, was saying things about go ahead check that doesn't change the premise of the argument that hamas hezbollah the houthis the iranian regime none of them accept the existence of an Israeli state and they are all wedded. Oh, appears, well, hang on, okay, hang on, let I'm me so finish. Let me finish out. my question. Okay, and they're ahead. all they're all wedded to its destruction. That's the point. It's not a question of whether it does no, exist. No. It's that the no, all those no, you all guys those groups insane. want to eradicate it. They've, they're open about it. Okay, Piers, let's look at your framing. Okay. So in the reality based world, Palestine does not exist because Israel is blocking its existence. Its cabinet voted to say that a Palestinian state will never exist. They will never allow it. So you're not worried that in the real world, the Palestinians are not allowed to exist, and if they resist at all their brutal 57-year humiliating occupation, they're called terrorists, they're the worst people on earth, we should hate them all, and they should never be allowed to exist. That's the real world. Israel exists and is one of the largest militaries in the world. Yeah, but you're missing my point again, anywhere. deliberately. I think you're deliberately missing no, my point. hold on. Okay, Piers, Piers, let me finish. Now, meanwhile, you live in a theoretical world where you say these powerless people who have no ability to affect Israel's existence at all, the Palestinians are literally throwing stones. They've bombed back to the stone well, no, age. They have no been, power at Hezbollah's all. Hezbollah's been firing rockets. You're saying, rockets. hold on. If no, you no, ask me a question, let making, me answer you the goddamn question. You are making wrong statements, Okay, Jack. you're being a ridiculous, unfair, ridiculous no, 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 person. No, no, I'm just, I'm picking right, you up. Go on. and join the Mossad over picking, here with him. I'm picking then. you up. His name is Mossad, by the way, with a B. But the, the Mossad, right? That's who he works Mossad. for and that's who he's Well, his name is Mossad, and he works... Oh, he's Mossad that works for Mossad. Okay, got it. I think you're deliberately avoiding the point I'm making, which is... No, I'm getting to the point you're making if you won't... If you stop cutting me off. Okay, but you're making so misleading statements. You're, that saying that they, and... you're saying these people are firing... Throwing, throwing rocks at the at, at Israel. They're doing a lot more than throwing rocks. It, Hezbollah has been firing yeah, rocket after rocket, rocket after rocket after rocket after rocket. Hamas has been launching terror attacks. The Houthis have been firing rockets. The Iranians are funding it all. It's not just rock throwing, Cenk, is it? Okay, Piers, you're making it sound, this is the frame of all Western media, that the Palestinians and the Arabs and the Muslims are so strong, they're about to wipe out poor little Israel, who's barely existing right now, poor little 
David and this God, Goliath Arabs are about to wipe them out. Are you crazy? I said they would the like world, to. Israel is the, okay, what an absurd thing. Okay, so here, Pierce. African National Congress resisted the apartheid in South Africa. They did it through terrorism, they killed civilians, and they did it through peace, they did it through both. They were both terrorists and resistance fighters. They were both of those things, and you can be both of those things. What you would say right now is, the African National Congress didn't want white South Africa to exist. They wanted them to be wiped out. The African National Congress are terrorists. They're the worst people. They should, uh, we have to keep apartheid because those guys are terrorists. We have to keep apartheid because they don't want South Africa to exist as it currently is. So no, that's absurd. So if you say to me, should Israel exist? Of course Israel should exist. Of course they should be a safe haven. But they're saying, no Cenk, you're right, Israel should exist, but Palestine shouldn't. And you're saying I'm the one that's being unfair? I haven't said that. Why are you, you putting words in my mouth? Do you see the absurdity of that? Why are you putting words in my okay, mouth? I never see, said that. Okay, Piers, do you see the absurdity? I didn't say that, the Israelis Cenk. not only existing, but occupying the Palestinians for 57 years and preventing their state, and then claiming that they're right to existence is somehow in jeopardy, but the Palestinians isn't. So for God's sake, what can the Palestinians do for these Israelis to free them, to give them their state and to well, stop Well, let, let me bring them. We've got Mossad back. Israelis, I'm begging you to stop being so brutal, to be the, stop being the thing that you hated. Stop being the thing that oppressed you in the first place. These Palestinians are not Nazis. You're fighting a ghost. No, the, the people who are being the fascists here, I hate to do this because it's breaking my heart and it should break your heart. You're being the fascists. You're the ones slaughtering their civilians. Look, how do you look at those children being starved to death in Northern Gaza and not see Jewish children in Germany in the 1930s and 40s? How do you not see that? It's the same exact image. Snap out of it. But Cenk, Stop being but Cenk, the thing that you hated. All right, Cenk, before I go to Mossad for a response, how do you not see, conversely, that what happened on October the 7th was to Jewish people not dissimilar to what the Nazis did to them in World War II? How do you not see that <laughs> No, parallel? it is not similar at all. It is. At all, Piers. It is. Piers. No, it's a group Piers. wedded to no. the destruction Piers, of all it's Jewish... it's insanity. Let me finish Stop my saying question. saying things. It is a group wedded, in the case of the Nazis, to the eradication of all Jewish people, as indeed are Hamas. What's the difference? Okay, so this is a convenient talking point to justify... What's the difference? Actually preventing the Palestinians from Tell existing. me the moral difference. What is wrong with you people? Tell me the so moral in difference. in reality, yes, of course I'll tell you the difference. So what they did on October 7th was terrible. I hate any civilians being killed. I hate terrorism. That is why Netanyahu is an awful, disgusting terrorist. He's killed 30 to 40 times the number of civilians that Sinwar did. What an awful, despicable terrorist he is. Guys, October 7th can be terrible, but at the same time, you can acknowledge the power dynamic of who is stronger and who is not. Why does that make a difference? Because the Nazis were the more powerful force. They had every ability to wipe out the Jews, and they tried. The powerful force, Goliath, the Nazis, were horrible for what they did to the Jews. When the French resistance fought back and killed German civilians, it might have been the wrong strategy. It might have been immoral to kill German civilians. But the French resistance was not, oh, they're trying to wipe out Germans from existence, so the French resistance is bad. They should surrender to the Nazis. No, they were the powerless. The powerless always do ineffective violence that we call terrorism. And then to say, no, it's their fault that the powerless are going to somehow wipe out the powerful. No, you're framing it in a way that is totally hypothetical and theoretical because you want to avoid the reality of what is actually happening in the world, which is the Israelis wiping out the Palestinians 